Hi guys, and welcome to episode 2 of the Off-Season Series. So welcome to episode two of the off-season series. Today it's Tuesday, the 15th of November. The last time I saw you was Saturday, so about three, four days ago. So I traveled to my parents on Saturday evening. I spent Saturday and Sunday there, and then on Sunday I went back home here to Trollhättan. Monday was just work, so today has just been the same, basically work from six to three came back home, edited the final uh, pieces of the episode one. And right now I just wanted to go out for a walk and get a bit warm because I'm gonna do a lower body session here at home, about 20, 30 minutes in total. I don't wanna go to the gym yet because I don't feel like I have to because the first few sessions is just gonna be body weight anyway and I can do that at home. And then after I've done the lower body session, we'll head into the goal setting, which I mentioned in the previous uh, episode. So that's it really. Uh, gonna get into training mode. Access granted. So I'm just gonna start off with some activation. After that, I'm gonna do some foam roller. Actually going to do a workout on the Nike Training Club app. Uh, it's a workout I did for the first time in 2017, so five years ago. It's just a follow along uh, leg lower body workout. This is one the Ronaldo workout, quick hit lower body workout. So 20 minutes, we're going to target the glutes, legs, lower body stability, and balance. So that's it. I'm going to put in my earbuds and then let's go.
guys. Whew. We're done. 20 minutes of intense, intense lower body workout. I'm definitely gonna feel this tomorrow. The legs burn a lot. Oh, but that's, that's nice. Finally breaking a sweat again. I'll take a shower now and then afterwards I'll make dinner and then I'll talk you through the goal setting. Sounds good? See ya. Okay, so I had a quick shower and a dinner. So I'm just briefly gonna cover the goals that I set. So step one is really to decide what your end goal is. It could be play for your national team, could be play in the Champions League, win a Premier League, play for your favorite team, whatever it is. Just make sure it's an end goal that you're motivated by. I picked that I wanna progress up to the next level uh, and that in Sweden it is Super Eten or Allsvenskan, or it could be overseas. Step two is how do we get to that angle? So I written down three points, and the first one is I need to perform at a high level at my current club to attract attention from, from, from better teams. The second one is to make at least 15 starts, which is 50% of the games in, in Etan. And I want to contribute to at least 10 goals. I contributed to two this year. So step two is really all about how do we get to that end goal? What do we need to do? In step two, the goals that I said are uncontrollable goals. To perform at a high level, it's uncontrollable. I can perform at a high level, but there's other factors that influence how well I perform make at least 15 starts. I don't pick the starting 11. The only thing I can do is perform in training and perform in games and, and just hope that the coach picks me for, for the starting 11. And contribute to at least 10 goals, that is goals or assists. I can't control that either. What I can do, and we'll get to this in step three. So in step three is how do we reach these goals? And the points I've nailed down is make sure I stay injury free, because that was a big problem this year. Uh, another one is gym sessions. I have been really consistent with gym sessions prior to this year uh, from 2018 when I really started going to the gym and all the way through to 2021 uh, I was in the gym at least two times a week often three or four times a week and it and it showed results I was I was rarely injured uh, and then this year uh, I felt that I started to lose a bit of strength um, so I really want to get back there and, and do the, the rehab exercises and the strengthening and conditioning to, to really progress uh, upwards. And I want to nail my recovery. Uh, I want to get eight hours, eight plus hours of sleep every night compared to an average of about six this year. And I want to implement proper nutrition and hydration habits. So these are really our goals that are in my control. Uh, in contrast to the goals at step two. Uh, but how do we actually reach the goals? Because it's easy to say I can set a goal that I want to, for example, I want to sleep eight hours. It's easy to say, uh, in theory, I want to sleep eight hours every night, but why haven't I done it this year? That's always a good question to do. Why haven't I done it before? Does me being more disciplined lead to me achieving this goal or do I have to do something else? And often what people get wrong is that you don't put a system in place where you can actually achieve your goal. Then we get to step four. If we take the eight hours of sleep as an example, I need to design a system that fits all of the goals in, the controllable goals. For example, this year I got an average of six hours of sleep every night, but this is not partly due to my discipline, but also partly and mostly due to my work situation. I have to get up at 5.30 every morning to get to work. Uh, so it's really hard for me to get those eight hours that I need to, to progress in, in my football, you know. So how do we change this? Can I reduce my working hours? Yes, I could and probably sustain myself financially. 
So let's say I drop that down to six hours a day or four hours a day and I can start at eight or 10. Uh, now suddenly it becomes so much easier for me to consistently, maybe not every night, but more consistently get eight hours of sleep every night. So this is just one example of how you can design your life and build a system that makes it much easier for you to achieve the goals. It's important to work hard, but I guess you've heard it's also really important to work smart. And this is really what working smart means. And step five is really when you have built the system and you should put some thought into this, uh, then follow the system. Here's where the hard work comes in. You do the smart work to set up the system, but then the hard work is actually following the system and being disciplined and having faith in that this system is gonna is gonna provide you uh, with long-term results. Uh, you don't have to overcomplicate it, don't overthink it, but this is really the five steps that I think uh, you you can go through if you have other ideas. I'm happy to hear them I'm definitely not an expert in goal setting. I'm not a psychologist or something like that, but this is uh, a Framework that works for me. Let me know what works for you. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in hearing that as well But that's it really that's that's the framework I use so step one you decide your end goal uh, a compass that motivates you to keep to keep going and then step two is how do we get to this end goal? What do I need to do where I'm at right now to get to there? Step three is creating controllable goals to achieve these uncontrollable goals in step two. Step four is design a system or design your life uh, to more easily achieve these goals. Be smart uh, with what you do. And then step five is follow the system, have faith in it and just work hard. That's it. If you do this, I guarantee you'll make progress. I can tell you you will reach your goal because it's, it's, it's impossible to say. But if you do this, I guarantee you have a much better shot at, uh, at doing it. So uh, that's it really for uh, this episode two. As I said, if you want a longer breakdown of goal setting, I can try to make a longer video where I explain it in more detail. Uh, but otherwise, uh, that's it for this episode and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care.